There are a few different ways to zoom in or otherwise move the data around to look at features. The first is using the zoom cursor mode. To use this mode, simply left click and hold, then drag and release in order to draw a box that will zoom into a selected area of the spectrum. Note that if you left click, hold and drag and release in the X or Y axis of the data, you will only zoom in the corresponding dimension. Alternatively, one can use the pan tool in order to drag the data around. Again, left click and hold and drag left, right, up or down, depending on what you would like to do. Finally, there's also the amplitude gain or scale cursor mode. When you left click, hold and drag up and down in this mode, you'll apply a scaling factor according to how much you move the mouse up or down. This can be useful to look into the baseline of a peak or something to that effect. There are a few keyboard shortcuts that are also useful when zooming around. First is the home key, which will zoom all the way back out. The next keyboard shortcut that's really handy is the end key, which will scale the spect or will scale everything so that the tallest peak visible on the spectrum is maximized. So notice if we have just a few peaks here, it zooms the trip or it scales everything so the triplet is the tallest. One can also double click when they're in zoom mode to step back uh, one, one zoom step at a time. It's often the case that you might, or that you'll be zooming in in order to do peak picks or integrating or something like that. You can temporarily change to the zoom key or zoom mode by holding the space bar. That way when the space bar is released, you can go back to peak pick mode. Have comments? questions, or requests for additional videos, please visit our forums on the nmrsupport.jeol.com website, or feel free to leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.